The marine litter concentrations for the Bahamas and the wider Caribbean are almost three times the global average. And in 2025, the projected plastic pollution accumulation for the Bahamas is expected to increase to some 687 million metric tons. And this is in the place that I call home the place where the amount of plastic pollution invading our shorelines actually displaces the biomass of the people who live here. And this is paradise. You know, this is where I'm from. This is a vacationist dream. But when you peel back the veils of this idyllic space, you begin to see that paradise is actually polluted by plastic. And in often cases, it's plastic that doesn't even belong to us. My name is Crystal Ambrose, also known as Crystal Ocean, and I'm a self-proclaimed plastic warrior. Ever since I was a little girl, I've had this, this love affair with the ocean. You know, I remember being so little, riding on a Sunday in my father's truck and seeing the horizon of the ocean and just being mesmerized and so curious and astonished by this, this deep blue. The one person in my family who had the strongest relationship to the ocean was my father. He taught us to swim, but in the most unconventional way. He didn't give us the skill and the technique, but he tossed us into the deep end. And we had to fend for ourselves, sink or swim, but we always knew that he was always one swim away. And when I reflect on my life and my time with my father and his connection to the ocean, I realized that he was preparing me for something bigger. I see that he was preparing me for the biggest fight of my life. And that fight being the fight for the thing that I love the most, the ocean, and protecting it against plastic pollution. I never set out to um, save the Bahamas from plastic or from waste or anything like that, but for the life of me, I kept having these visions and these manifestations of the whole country moving with me to move towards this Bahamas that was free of plastic debris. And it was in that moment that Bahamas Plastic Movement was born. And we're the grassiest grassroots organization you can think of. We're totally community and youth-based. People that are connected to the ocean, connected to the environment, and committed to making a difference. Through research, education, citizen science, and policy change all around plastic pollution, those are the things that we focus on to help develop solutions to this crisis in our own country. And even though we're so focused on plastic pollution, our organization is really rooted in the hopefulness of engaging youth and young people in education and activism around plastic pollution. Core component of our organization is our Plastic Pollution Education and Ocean Conservation Summer Camp, uh, also known as the Plastic Camp. And during this time, we have students that come from around the Bahamas to learn all about the issue. And for me, working with youth is so important because they're the next generation, right? You start there, they're the ones that are, are molding their own futures. They're the ones that deserve a seat at the table at making decisions that impact their future. You know, you, they're strong, powerful, and effective leaders. When they speak, the world listens. And I personally believe that youth are the change. So in our program, our students, they come in, they learn all about the issue through hands-on connections with scientific research. You know, they're out on the boat trawling for microplastics in the ocean. They're dissecting the stomachs of fish like mahi-mahi or birds like albatross to see if they're actually ingesting plastic. And it's in this moment where they make the connection between how their lifestyle on land actually impacts animals and animals that they like to eat. 
They're doing the art and the activism around this issue. They're pushing policy and having their voices heard and realizing that they have the power to affect change. And that's what it's about. It's connecting students to the ocean so that they are empowered to make a difference within their own lives, their own schools, homes, communities, and most importantly, in our country, where we're surrounded by water, where we're surrounded by so much plastic that's invading our shores. They are the ones that are gonna be at the front lines making a difference. They are the plastic warriors. Crystal ha has so much amazing energy and I think that she gets that from growing up here in the Bahamas and that makes the show run. She brings all of her energy and good vibes and her amazing work with kids and she gets everyone so excited about what they're doing and really connects them in a way that we couldn't do ourselves and so we love learning from her and having her there. The first time I saw Crystal, I felt off her energy, and I feel like it's so inspiring how even when times may be rough for her, she still gives us energy and positivity to make sure that we feel great and that we feel confident and that we have a better learning experience. Being an alumni of Bahamas Plastic Movement and working with Ms. Crystal has changed how I view how plastic affects the environment and has made me more self-conscious when I'm using certain products. It has deepened my passion for the ocean and the marine life that lives inside, and it has also made me more outspoken when spreading awareness. If I was to describe Crystal in one word, I would say bright, because she just brings light to every situation, and she's just so inspiring and makes everybody happy. Crystal brings a unique joy to her work, um, and she has a unique passion for empowering um, young people and people of color to enter the conversation about environmental conservation. And that's something that nobody had really focused on up to now. She's from this little country, this tiny country of islands that people know only for sun, sand, and sea. And yet she is playing a leading role in one of the most complex global environmental issues. She is leading um, policy and activism and actually, you know, in the Bahamas, innovating a way forward to, to expand a conversation about combating pollution is revolutionary. And the biggest part about it, because of the youth work um, being challenging and the environmental work being challenging, Crystal brings joy. She brings joy to the work, and that is magic. My favorite thing about here is, is the connection to the sea, right? You look outside and you see kids swimming in the ocean. And it's such a beautiful thing. And at this beach, you look and you see it looks clean. But when you take a closer look at other beaches that surround this beautiful island, you'll see that our paradise is actually polluted, you know, and often by plastic that washes in from a foreign source. I, I hate that I can't stand the thought of a child from another generation of anyone not experiencing the ocean for years to come. And that's what drives me to continue this work. The connection my father has to the ocean, the connection of my country to the ocean, I am viscerally tied to the ocean. And that visceral feeling is what inspires me and keeps me going in, in my fight to protect it. Ah!